Hi everyone, today and this week we're going to be looking at fractions. We're going to be looking at fractions around our house, looking at fractions of parts of things and so many different activities that we're going to do. So sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy our video and the tasks we have for you today. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Don't tell Mrs. Tookton about this, but I have gone through our pantry or our kitchen cupboard and I've taken a whole lot of food out of our pantry. Look at all these foods. I've got things like sauces, things I can put on food, such as some chutney, so when I make my spaghetti or curry, the sauces I like to put on my sausages and pizza, some cereals. They're not mine, I don't eat those type of things. Some snacks that me and the kids have after school or at little lunch for at school. Mm, my favourite, some chocolate and of course some flour. So the first thing I did after looking at all the different things in my pantry, I organised them into different groups. I put all my sauces together. I then put my cereals together. I put the snacks together for cooking, of course the chocolate is for cooking. And then I was even able to break two of my groups into parts. So I found these that go into foods, so they're like pizza sauce, and I put this relish into when I make a curry and I put my tomato things, I've got a curry paste over here. And these go on top of my foods. A bit of mustard, a sweet chili sauce, some honey, tomato and barbecue sauce. So let's have a look at the sauces. How many do I have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten sauces all together. Let's move that up here. Now, do you remember how many sauces I had? Um, sorry, how many food items I had all together? I had 20. So we can say 10 of the 20 are sauces. Right. Let's have a look at my cereals. I've got two cereals there. So two of my 20 are cereals. We keep on going. My snacks, one, two, two three, four, five. I have five things that are snacks, yummy yummy, and always keeping that 20 because it was always out of 20 altogether. And my cooking. Now, I had one flour, so I'm going to put that here because I'll get rid of this tiny bit. I'll try and move that and see if I can get it onto here. And I can say that was 120. Now, let's have they're directly above each other. My dairy milk. It is the cooking but come on, let's just let's say the truth. That's not just for cooking. That was one twentieth as well, wasn't it? Now some people might be able to even say, well, Mr. T, well you've got two things there. I could always say that was two twentieths. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, if I look over here, when we go into the foods and on top of the foods, so I broke this up into two different groups, didn't I? I had one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five here. So I just notice so I double check that because I hate it when I get things wrong. I really want to do my best. Five over twenty. Hmm. And here, one, two, three, four, five. I also had five. Oh, that came a bit high. And twenty here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So look at all these type of fractions that they've have made. I'm just going to try and move some things up here to pretty it up. Move that over there. That's a bit better. Mr. T, lift your game. Thank you very much. Now, let's go back to our very first one. Oop, no, right, that's our opening page. 10, 20. I can rename that fraction. I can find an equivalent. Well, what's half of 20? 10. Did you use that keyword I just said half? Now, I can rewrite this fraction. We call this our equivalent. I can say there is one half of my sauces, or one half of my things in my pantry are sauces. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at my snacks, five twentieths. Mm. Now when I think of fractions, I also think of division. Twenty divided by five. Now I was able to work out that that actually means one quarter of all the things in my pantry were snacks. So five fifths is the same as one quarter. That's really cool, isn't it? Now, look at that. We're able to do one twentieth, one twentieth, so we'll skip that one. And if we look at our food that we saw before, that five 
20th is the same as what do you remember? Ooh, this is interesting. Is it the same? One, two, three, four, five, twenty. Twenty divided by five is one. I can put here quarter. And it's the same for here, isn't it? One. Can we go in here? Quarter. Wow, I've been able to convert fractions to their equivalent simplest form. Okay, so you've been mesmerized by everything I've been able to share. Now it's your turn. You need to find a whole lot of items from your pantry. If mum says no, maybe you can do your clothes, t-shirts, socks, shorts, jumpers. Here's my little picture for you. First things first, count how many things you have all together. That's really, really important. I had 20 and you saw that I then made a fraction line. The fraction line went above my 20, didn't it? Place them into groups, exactly like how I've done. And you might make mixed groups. So you will know that at the very start, I had all these sources, but then I broke them up into different types of sources. You know, I had for cooking things, I had snacks. So you'll be able to do with your clothes. You might even decide to make winter clothes, summer clothes, winter socks or short socks, so like the ankle socks compared to normal socks. There's all sorts of different things you can do. Take photos of what you've done. You can see I've added a whole lot of photos. Now this was my pantry. Record the fractions you see. Can you make the fraction simpler? Now I'm gonna give you a little hint. It's often easier if your amount is an even number. Not always, but it makes it a bit easier. I know I can carve things. So just, that's just something to think about. Upload your work onto Seesaw. Maybe use a few pages. That way it's spread out and Mr. Crouchick and I can really see what you've found. I hope you enjoyed today's task. Make sure to put all your things away so you don't get in trouble from mum or dad or Mr. Tookton.